the most exciting game of their lives. From Television City in Hollywood, it's time to press your luck. And now, here's the star of Press Your Luck, Michael Tour. Okay. Thank you. Thank you much. Thank you. I thank you, Skip Dickinson, one of the best announcers in the game show industry, in addition to a wonderful audience here at Press Your Luck. Hello, mic check one, two. Mic check one, two. Hello. Am I on? All right, good. There we are. All right, there we are. All right. Had a little technical difficulty right there. But either case, let's meet the players vying for the big bucks today on Pressure Luck, starting with Matthew Wojcic. How are you doing, Matthew? <laughs> I'm fine, thanks. Uh, where do you come to us from? Ah, Long Island, New York. Oh, man, it must be beautiful up there. And uh, what do you do there uh, up in Long Island? Oh, wow, must be, that must be very interesting, Matt. <laughs> well, good luck to you. Next up is I.J. Morgan. Hello, I.J. Where are you from, I.J.? That's interesting. And what do you do there in Georgia? <laughs> very nice. And I also understand that you have a family? Wow, that is absolutely amazing, and good luck to you. And finally, our champion, Kim Gordon, with $47,292. Kim, that's a lot of dough. What do you plan to do with it? <laughs> Very interesting. Okay. All right, players, I got four questions for you, and they can earn you some spins, which you can take to our big board. And our board is loaded with tens of thousands of dollars in cash and fabulous prizes, and a correct buzzing answer gets you three spins, a correct multiple choice answer gets you one spin, and every time you stop the board like this, stop! You'll win money like I just did, and I will tell you something, you want to be careful, because every time you spin at that board, you have a chance of hitting that whammy, and if you hit him, you lose all your winnings, and you don't want to do that, trust me. All right. Good luck to all of you, and here we go with our first question. A well-decorated actor has been in improv comedy for many years. He is probably most notable for playing an alter-ego nanny, and especially a magical Disney character. Who is this talented actor? <coughs> I.J. All right, is that talented actor Robin Williams, Eddie Murphy, or John Goodman? Matt. Robin Williams for Matt. Kim? That's clear across the board, and that alter ego nanny and magical Disney character was none other than Robin Williams. Matt gets a spin, IJ goes to three, and Kim gets a spin as well. That alter ego nanny was Mrs. Doubtfire, and that magical Disney character was none other than the genie, of course. Who could forget that? Alright, here's our next question. Which book of the Old Testament talks of the Ten Commandments? Matt. Is that correct answer Genesis? Exodus or Leviticus? IJ. Exodus Kim? Matt, Kim, talk to IJ. He knows. He knows that the Ten Commandments was first mentioned in Exodus 20. And IJ gets a spin there. What seemed to be the problem there, Matt? Yeah, I believe it. Oh, man. And here's the next question. A prominent camera company has had the distinction of releasing cameras, especially their Coolpix cameras. What company provides the Coolpix cameras, Matt? Nikon, alright. Is it Nikon, Kodak, or Konica Minolta? IJ. Kodak for IJ. Kim. Seems IJ's brain cramped right there, too, because the Coolpix is composed by Nikon. That goes to four. IJ stays at four. And Kim goes to two. Yeah, I use a Nikon in my photography, so that's interesting. All right, here's the last question. In the event that a king cannot move anymore in the game of chess, what is the term in which he surrenders? <coughs> Kim. Is the correct answer checkmate, check, or stalemate? Matt. Checkmate for Matt. IJ. I surrender. Checkmate the Lord. Matt goes to five. IJ to five. And Kim to five. And we all have a chance to do those things for us, so don't go away. Right. We'll be back. Hold on.